Good morning all. Today you're joining me bright and early. Well, I say bright, it's early, definitely not bright. On one of my local day tickets, hopefully gonna catch one or two fish. And more importantly for you guys, talking about some new luggage from Signet. And it's budget friendly. Both rods are now out, and in fact, the right-hand rod has just been redone because I've already had one before even being able to have a chance to chat through the stuff that's got me fishing today. So uh, it's a very good start to a February session. Very, very welcome. Now in front of me are a few different items which I'll run through, and of course the rod bag. Now, the items I brought with me today are just to get me fishing. I've bought a fairly stripped back amount of stuff that Signet have actually sent me for a couple of reasons. One of which, I'm coming on a short day session with just a few hours, the weather's looking terrible later on. It would have taken me all day to bring it all down and go through each individual item. And the second reason is because all of the items I've got with me today and everything I've got back in my car are available for a giveaway. So to get involved in that competition or to get your hands on a whole job lot of luggage from Signet, from little lead pouches all the way up to rod sleeves and rod bags, then check the link in the description below and head over to Facebook for more information. It's a very, very good prize or great prize for any one of you, whether it's budget friendly or beginner angler or someone that just needs some new kit. Now the Signet range, the first thing to cover as well, is that this is geared towards more entry level carpers or people that maybe have been in fishing for a long time, but a bit more budget conscious because all of the items with me today aren't going to break the bank. So obviously if you went for the whole range in one job lot, it's probably going to be a bit more expensive, but each individual item, I think you'd be quite satisfied with the prices that they come in at. So I'll start with what I've got in front of me. Now this is actually the rucksack or ruck bag. I'm not entirely sure of which name they give it, but uh, I'll get onto that in a second, but it's quite easy to move around. I've got two heavy duty handles either side, padded straps on the, uh, what as you expect, it's a rock back and padded back support with all the appropriate tension straps to make them nice and snug to your back. On the top, there's two uh, buckled straps which you can tighten and loosen, perfect for a roving and hooking mat, something like that. But today, I've just stuck one of their other luggage items on here as well. Now this is the buzzer bag. This comes in at just $14.99. So that gives you an idea of the prices. They're not pricing you at the market. It is geared towards the more budget conscious angle or someone getting into it. Of course, it's empty at the moment because my buzzer bars are out there, but as you saw from the intro sequence, it had both my uh, bank sticks, there's room for four bank sticks in here, has Velcro tabs to hold my backrests, so my butt rests and backrests, and then on the other side, there's another Velcro tab to hold my bite alarm rests, So and there's a padded divider between to stop them from clunking into each other and damaging themselves. Little mesh pocket at the top, perfect for hangers and things like that. I've actually got my receiver in there. It's a lovely little bag and all the materials are the same throughout the range, so heavy duty materials, a nice sort of khaki green and heavily stitched handles on the top. So actually, the, that's, it's quite a small thing on this, but the stitching on the handles is very, very heavy duty. I can, just by feeling it, it's actually made the material around it stiffer where there's so much stitching on involved. And on the bottom, there is a white clean sort of water resistant base, which is ideal because as you can see, it's been on the ground once today, already filthy muddy. So apologies to whoever wins this and some of the ice I've got with me today, they will be coming with mud from this session. Apologies. I'll move that to the side. You see the bag a bit more. So on the front, we've got a big main pocket. If I open this up, now just for demonstration purposes today, I've tucked in a cutlery set, which also comes in the range. I think this comes in at 19.99 as well. So just quickly show you that. Knife, fork, spoon, a uh, teaspoon as well, plate, some little mesh bits for maybe uh, towels and things, but nice little kit dining set for one and that fits perfectly in the front so all of these items have been designed to fit within each other on the outside either side sorry we've got zipped pockets which in this one i've just got a few bits of tackle items i've got my carp care kit in there and actually water bowl just to show it a bit more bulked out so that's one but and actually looking down through the bottom there's a drainage hole so if you were to put wet items in here like i just did with water bottles and it was to get wet there's a drainage hole in the bottom so it's not going to pull up and if you need to clean this out you can pour water down there because it's lined on the inside it's not going to seep through anywhere else and it will drain out the bottom same again on the other side i've got another water bottle just to show it all bulked out and then again another zip pocket oh what do we have in here another luggage item now this is a net float again i'm not going to go in depth on some of these items they are all on the website of course if you want to find out the full range but i'm just going through the more specific items that i've got with me today so i'll put these clips back together 
They said, like I said, you could easily put a uh, unhooking mat on there or something, or like I did with the uh, buzzer bar kit. And it's worth noting as well that the bag itself comes in at just $49.99. So again, it's not breaking the bank. For the amount of stuff you can actually store in here, it's pretty impressive. So I've shown you the outside pockets, how it goes onto your back, it's nice comfortable, the front pocket as well. But on the inside, I brought everything I've needed to get myself fishing today and more. So if I open that up, another item you'll see is a brew kit bag, which I'll get onto a bit more detail in a second, but that one comes in at $19.99. And then in the bottom here, I've got my PVA bucket, which has got all my stuff in there for getting solid bags out. A few other little bits and bobs in there. There's another pocket, which is housing. You should be able to see on that one, just housing my towels and things, because it's a pretty grotty, wet, muddy session. And trying to do solid bags with not towels is a nightmare. So it's a nice little storage pocket in there. Again, that one's lined with the kind of water resistant stuff. So if you've got wetter items, like the towels probably will be, or hopefully by the end of the session, they can go in there. At the bottom, again, the wipe clean base. So I'll just stick this item back in there just to bulk it out a bit more. You'll then see on the bottom, we've got again, well, underneath all the mud, a wipe clean base. Sorry, whoever's gonna win that, that is absolutely filthy already. But, uh, well, you're gonna get it sent to you, tried and tested. So there you are, that's the rucksack or ruck bag. Again, not entirely sure of the name, but at $44.99, I don't think you can uh, quibble about the price point. Move that to the side, and we'll move back onto the brew kit bag. Now this is a, not a, really an essential, but if you're anything like me, where you put a stove in one pocket of one bag, a kettle in another pocket, everything's everywhere, it might be quite nice for some of you to have a dedicated bag to take your brew kit stuff with you. So whether you're going on a short day session, you don't really need it, you don't need to take this every time. It's nice to be able to put it into a bag and take it out, because of course it fits in there perfectly. Velcroed handle at the top, and then you've got two compartments in here. The left side, or the right side to that camera, is lined, so it's a cool, cool bag sort of setup in there. And I've got my milk in there. And there's also some elasticated straps on the inside to hold. Maybe if you've got a milk bottle in there that you want to hold in position, you can stick it into those elasticated straps, no issues. So stick that back in there. And then on the other side, of course, is your main compartment to house everything else. So just to give you an idea of how much stuff I've managed to put in here, I've got my tea bags, coffee, mug, stove, and gas can. Now they also do a gas can cover. Of course, there's not many things they haven't covered with this luggage range. My kettle. And then spoon, uh, lighter, and other sorts of net. Again, in here is a wipe clean material. So every now and then, if you want to clean this out, you can do. So everything is covered. And I'll put this, again, sorry whoever's getting this, you're getting muddy stuff now, put it inside. I'll keep that to the side because I want a cup of tea in a minute. There you are, that's the brew kit bag. And lastly, the items that I've brought with me to, of the items I brought with me today is this rod sleeve, or rod carrier. So this is a three rod padded 12 foot rod bag. They've also got single sleeves for 12 foot, um, single sleeves for nine to 10 foot, padded double sleeves and three sleeves for nine, 10 foot. So there's a whole range of different rod bags to suit your needs. So whether you've got quite the common uh, nine or 10 foot tractable rods, it'll fit those. Or if like today you've brought your uh, 12 foot rods, then they've got that covered as well. We'll start on the outside. Lots of storage room once again. Now, all of these items have clearly been designed by anglers because they just, they all work. You see these different pockets and little functions of bags and, and rod bags things, and they all serve a purpose. You're not questioning what they're for. So the first one, perfect for a sling. This we've got in there, and I've got my distance six as well. Again, you've got the white clean material on the outside, but not on the inside, which is a bit of a strange option because if you're putting a sling in there, it's protecting water ingress or outgress to the outside, but maybe not on the inside, something to be aware of. And then a bigger pouch in here, which today I don't have a uh, day shelter or a little umbrella. So I've just brought a golfing umbrella in case the weather takes a turn for the worse, but there's plenty big enough to fit an umbrella in there. It's nice and deep. On this side, this is where I've, there's a big pocket at the bottom, which you can easily fit a rod on the outside. I just have my landing net with me today with a buckled strap here, which you can tighten up to make sure it's nice and secure to the outside. Two ways of carrying it. You've got a stitched on handle and you've also got a removable shoulder strap. Now on the inside, it's not exactly loads going on, but it does exactly what it needs to. I'll pop it down there so you can see a bit more on the other camera as well. I've just got my one rod left in it at the moment, so it's a little bit flimsy. 
But uh, you've got dividers, so I've got my big pits on me today. These are uh, Daiwa Crosscast, I believe they are, so quite big reels. All three of them fitted in here, absolutely no problem. So all those dividers stop them from knocking into each other. I'm not going to say it's masses of padding, but you've got to remember these are more budget-friendly items, so things like that might be a bit more of a compromise than something a much more expensive. But they've still got dividers, still enough padding so that once they're in there, they're not knocking into each other and getting any damage, flicking off paint and things like this. And also at the top end, you've got Velcro tabs to hold them in, in position. Now I've actually come across some other budget friendly rod, rod bags in the past. And that's a small thing that some items or some companies don't involve or don't include. And that's such a drawback when you don't have these because the rods still move around. You open up the rod bag and they're falling out. So just a simple addition of a Velcro tab at the top holds it in position. The bottom's not going anywhere because it's sort of seated into the base and you're sorted. There's also a couple more little elasticated straps in here. So you could put maybe a net pole on the inside as well if you want to, or a storm pole, something like that. But that's the inside in a nutshell. So as you can see, 12 foot rods with 50 mil butt rings, stacks of room at the top. It's not like it's uh, bigger around the reel and then slim tight everywhere else. Lots of room, so there's still a bit of movement up there. So all size difference rods will still fit within this rod bag. So let's pop that to the side. And I'm gonna get my stove on a go in a second, I think, because it's still pretty cold and windy. It's February and I've ran through the items I've brought with me today. So just to recap, you've seen the one-man dining set, the rod bag, the buzzer bar bag, sorry, the brew kit bag, the rucksack and the three rod 12 foot padded rod holder. Now please do go over to their website and as you can see from some of the shot spots up to up for grabs there is stacks in this range all the way down from little lead pouches, lead bags, PVA bags, your scales pouches, different bits and bobs bags, some of them literally called bits and bobs bags and you've got this, you've got carryalls as well. So there's everything you can think of that you've seen in luggage ranges pretty much is covered by Signa. But the added benefit of the fact that they're not too expensive. So if you are getting insufficient and you've been struggling to find something that's in your price range and you really wanted a rucksack or you really wanted a carryall or a rod bag, then do have a look at the Signet range. And you can even be lucky enough to win it all, as I mentioned. So remember, check the link in the description below and head over to Facebook as well for more information on how to get involved in that, where you can get your hands on some freebies. And again, apologies if you win any of this extremely now muddy stuff that I brought with me today. But that's it for me for now, so please like the video if you did, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on all the social media platforms you've got coming up on the bottom of your screen right now so you don't miss any updates on other platforms. But that's it for me for now. I'm gonna hang out a little bit longer. I think I've got a bit of a window until the rain arrives and hopefully get a few more fish on the bank. But cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.